Welcome to Float's mobile app. Our mission is to simplify spending for companies and teams, and we hope that this app will empower our users when they're on the go. To start, open the mobile app and log in either using manual authentication or biometrics. A quick glance at the app shows our home screen, our cards page, our transactions page, and our requests page. Starting on our home page. In the top left-hand corner, you can access our settings, you can directly reach out to support, change your in-app settings, and see an overview of all of your profiles on Float. In the top right, you can select the account switcher and view any profile that you have linked to your account directly in the app. Scrolling down, you can see a carousel of some of your cards, as well as an overview of your most recent transactions on this profile. We also provide you with a quick link to a list of any non-compliant transactions that you have on your profile. You can action these directly in the app by simply clicking on the transaction, identifying the input that is marked as orange, adding the input that you need to provide, and there you see it, your transaction becomes compliant. Heading back to the home screen, you can see that we make sure to let you know that there is nothing left to action now that you've updated the outstanding transaction. Moving to our card page, you can easily view any active card. You can see your available funds. You can see your active limits. You can access your card information, your PIN number, directly process a top-up request, have an overview of the submission requirements for transactions processed through this card, see any unapproved categories on your card, as well as see a list of your most recent transactions. Heading over to the transactions page, you can quickly and easily search for any transactions that you have on your card, as well as review any details on those transactions. Finally, heading over to our request page, you can see an overview of all of your pending, completed, declined, and canceled requests. Now, let's head to our primary in-app actions. Hit the plus button to see a list of the actions that you can take within the app. You can quickly and simply snap a receipt. You can request a reimbursement. You can request a card limit increase and you can request a new card. So in this example, if we go through the process of completing all of the required inputs and we add a recurring limit to this card request that renews on an annual basis, we can submit that request now, switching gears to my manager account, we will see that in the top right hand corner, we have our approval inbox. And on this approval inbox, I will see the request that I'd recently submitted. I can take a look at any of the specific details, make changes as a reviewer as I see fit, and then either approve or decline the request. Thank you for joining us for this demo and please reach out to us if you have any feedback or input on the mobile app.